Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Loving My Home with Tammy. I'm Tammy. I want to welcome y'all to my channel today. We are in my master bedroom. Um, but before I get started on all that, I want to send a big thank you to Emily from Gridiron and Grace for doing a collaboration with me today. Um, I asked her if she was interested in doing a collaboration and if she was so, so willing and eager to join me um, in this collaboration. Now that I've said that enough. <laughs> anyway, she is uh, doing a video where she's helping her mom decorate and I am doing my master bedroom. So um, anyway, I've already hung up a wreath over my bed and I have all my bedding tore down. Yesterday, I got in new Christmas sheets. I washed them and I washed the brand new blanket that I bought to go in here also. I've been trying to bring in reds into every room, be it with a ribbon or just some of the decorations that I use. And so I'm gonna carry on the red theme into my master bedroom. So um, my little sheets are in my other room. So I'm gonna get those, we're gonna start there. Put those on, get the bed all really pretty and beautiful, and then we will replace all the items I've already cleaned, so we don't have to sit and watch that, because that's boring. So, anyway, we are going to get this room decorated for Christmas, and uh, without further ado, let's just jump right in and get it done. Hi everyone, my name is Emily and my channel on YouTube is called Gridiron and Grace and I want to thank Miss Tammy for asking me to do this collaboration together today. Uh, I met Miss Tammy a couple of months ago through some ladies here on YouTube. We did a video playlist collaboration with several of us on YouTube for a fall decorating video and so I'm so excited to be doing a Christmas collaboration with her today and I'm going to be taking you along to my mom's and we're going to be decorating at her house. She decorates with the Grinch. It's so cute in her living room. A little bit about me and my channel. I love to share home decor, decorating, seasonal decorating, thrifting, antiquing, cleaning. Uh, you will find a variety of all those things here here on my channel, but my favorite thing to share is decorating. Uh, those are my favorite videos to share. So it would mean so much to me if you would come over and check out Gridiron and Grace after you get finished watching this Tammy's video today. And thank you again to her for asking me to do this collaboration. I got some new sheets from JCPenney's online. So we're gonna open them up. These are for my master bedroom for Christmas. And so, we're gonna get them onto wash so that we can make up the bed. And look what kind of box cutter I have. <gasps> Surprise, it's a Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I usually end up with several of those here at the house. Ooh, those are heavy. King size sheets. Kinda hard to do with one hand. And be careful at the same time. Wow, I'm trying here. Let me see if I can sit it down for a minute. All right, y'all can get a little bit of a glimpse here. Look, my little Christmas sheets. Aren't they so pretty in their flannel? They feel so good and they're gonna feel so much better even after I wash them. But they're in a little cover. So I'm gonna have to tear them open. There's my helper, Miley. She goes, hmm, is that for me? No, it's not for you, silly gear. Ah. Ah. I'll get your I'll get your duck duck in a minute. Duck duck is their snack. Hold it. Hold it. Alright, y'all, there's the sheets. So let's get them open into the washing machine. I know it, baby. All right, here's the fitted one. There's Priscilla helping. <laughs> what you think, Priscilla? 
Watch out, Miley. I'm going to the washing machine. It's early in the morning. I've just fed. The sun is coming up, y'all. There he is, peeking over. So pretty. I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but the leaves on the trees this year are so pretty. All right, let's go back in and get the rest of them. She's waiting on snack. Here's the little, well, they're not so little. And my goodness, how many did I get? There's one. Oh, okay. There. <laughs> it's just two. For some reason, it just looks funny the way it's folded like that. Okay, so here's the pillowcases. Let's go put them in. All right. Miley. She stole cat food. She says, well, you've got the door open, Granny. All right, I'm trying to shake out this sheet here. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right. Let's go put it in the wash. No, Miley, you can't come out here. You don't need the cat. Miley, no. Move. Go in the house. Go in the house. She goes, ah. I wanted some more of that cat food, Grammy. I call him Grammy to him. That's gonna, if I ever have grandchildren, which I'm fine without, but if I ever do, that's what they'll call me. But since I'm, and my finger keeps getting in the way, cause I'm trying to hold this and uh, do all this. But anyway, that's what I'll be called if I ever have grandchildren. All right, I'm getting the detergent. I don't know if I've ever shown y'all my laundry room, but I'll, it's outside, which is, you know, such a joy when it's cold. All right, I'm pouring in the detergent and I just leave my lid in there cause it's hard to get all the detergent out. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> all right, well, we've kind of redone this. I've shown y'all my little shelving unit. But anyway, this is my laundry room. This is where the cats come to eat, to keep the dogs out of it. I bought that at a, a local um, little secondhand shop. This is my back, this leads to my back deck. We bought this really cute house for my outside cat right there. And there's the cat's bathroom, plus my shelving. But we built this little wall in order to house my shelving. And I got this really cute picture. I think I got that off of Etsy and down. it was a download. So anyway, that's my little laundry room. Not fancy, but it gets the job done. So all right, now we've just gotta wait for the sheets to wash and dry. And uh, then we will start decorating my master bedroom. And there's my precious Garros. Yes. Say hi. Ooh, ooh. Okay, y'all. I feel like the sheets are through washing, so let's go put them in the dryer. There's Bigger laying on the blanket outside. It's chilly today in Texas. There's my sheets all washed up, so let's add them to the dryer. There's my little cup, so we'll set that up here. Now I'm going to add a dryer sheet. Y'all, I have a bad bruise on my hand and have no idea how I did that. So that's what that black spot is. So it won't be much longer till we can make my bedroom nice and Christmassy. All right, y'all, I also have this red blanket and those pillow covers that I'm gonna wash. To also, the quilt is new, the red quilt, and I've had these, I believe I got them off of Amazon. 
few years ago. I use them for a lot of holidays, Valentine's, Fourth of July, Christmas. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna wash those too. So let's get those loaded up into the washing machine. Telling you, doing jobs one-handed, it's a lot of work. I mean, it's hard enough <laughs> with two hands. Okay, there, now I got it. Let me get my detergent. And if you wanna know what detergent I use, I have uh, allergies a lot, and um, my doctor told me to use ivory, and so I saw that they made an ivory um, clothes wash. So anyway, that's what I use. So let's pour that in. Drop in the little cup, and off she goes. We are gonna make my room so cute. All right, y'all, here are my sheets. Aren't they so pretty? They're so thick, they were so hard to fold. I just wanted to keep them folded up. I didn't even do a good job. I was trying to keep some of the wrinkles out, but I think I made more wrinkles than were already there. So anyway, let's get this bed made up. Those are so pretty, aren't they? I just love them and they feel so good. They fit good. I can't remember the brand. I know I got them JC Penney's, but I'll see if I can find the link. I'm not real good at that because I'm not technical, technologically savvy, but I will see if I can find the link and I'll link that in the description box for y'all. So, okay, let's get the flat sheet on now. And if you haven't seen me make up my bed before, I turn my sheets upside down, or this sheet anyway, because when you fold it back, you can see the pretty colors. But this one's a hot wrinkly mess, let me tell you. But I ain't ironing it. It'll just have to do. These are nice, good size. They fit good. They're hanging over nicely. I'm even actually going to have to go to the other side to lift this side up because I think it'll be longer than my blanket or my quilt. I'd rather it be on this side because it won't show than that side. All right. So then with the corners, my mama taught us when I was a little girl that you um, tuck the end in and where that ends at you pull that up and then you tuck that in and it gives you a square corner. Okay, so there's the square corner. Okay, now that I'm out of breath, we are going to put on the quilt. Right now, I'm gonna show y'all something funny. So let me go and get it real quick. Give me just a sec. Y'all remember I have two big dogs and eight cats. And they all get on this bed. And they make it a hot mess. So I'm just, I just can't watch this quilt every day. That's just too much because there's too much other stuff to do. So I vacuum my <laughs> So here we go.
All right, y'all. There it is, all vacuumed and lovely. I know that may seem crazy, but that's that's just what I have to do. I'm gonna call that the lazy girl cleaning the bed instead of washing it. And, oh, just too much. So anyway, there's my little secret. All right, now let's fold this down so we can see these lovely sheets. Oh my gosh, look how pretty they are. And they even have a touch of gray, and I didn't know that. So I'm just so excited that they kind of actually go with my gray. How cute is that? Oh, I'm in love with them and they feel so good. My husband is gonna like them too. So let me get this little wrinkle out. And then I've gotta put the pillowcases on. So we'll throw this one down here. And I'll come down here and do this one. Hey there. And with everything else, those are nice, good sized pillowcases. So, I am just in love with those sheets. I was hesitant about even getting them, and I'm so glad I did. They are just adorable. And I'm probably making noise on my mic by swinging this pillow up. I apologize for that. Okay. There's that. So now I have a red blanket that I bought from Walmart. I believe it was $19.98. I'm gonna go run and get that because it's still in the dryer. Because yesterday I worked a full day and when I got home then we had choir practice, which speaking of choir practice, my church is putting on a uh musical i would love love for y'all to come check it out the church link it's on youtube so if you're watching me you know how to find it it's called denman d-e-n-m-a-n -E denman avenue baptist church i stand on the very back row i am a soprano so if you're facing the screen i'll be on the left on the back row i would just really love for y'all to come and listen to the message through the music that we're singing. Anyway, back to decorating. Let me go run get my red quilt, and then I'll show you all the little items. They're all on my dining room table that I'm gonna be placing in my room. All right, I'm back. Here is this red blanket. It's kind of a, um, oh, I don't know what you call that, but it's just soft. My dogs love laying on it, so I can't vacuum it as easily, so I do have to wash it more often than I'd like. So let me show y'all, I'm gonna uh, get this adjusted so y'all can see. I showed y'all in one of my last videos what I like to do is I find instead of folding it like you would if you were folding it, I grab a corner and I drape it down because I like it to go to the floor or actually touching the floor. This is a king size. My bed is a king size. This is a king size. I find the opposite corner. And that way it goes almost to the floor. So then I just kind of tuck these other little corners under and kind of just give it a bunched up, a bunched up look, which I really like. And I like that it's going all the way to the floor. There we go. And then to that, I have these two pillow covers I've had for quite a good while. They're from Amazon. I washed them. Now they have red fuzzies from that. I shouldn't have probably washed it with that, but I did. Now they have red fuzzies all on them. But anyway, all right, let me get my inserts and we'll get those set up. I almost forgot to move y'all so you can see. How many times have I done that? So, okay, here's these in their covers. I'm still picking off some of the lint. There they are. 
Then I have one more pillow that I'm going to place in the center, and that's this one that says Merry Christmas. So here we go. All right, y'all. There's, there's the bed. I like it because I love those sheets. So, so comfy. Okay, so let me take you off the stand. We're going to walk into the dining room so I can show you all the things that are going to be placed in here. I'll tell you where I got them, um, if I can remember how much they were, if I can remember that. Um, and then I will decorate, but I won't talk during my decorating. So here we go. All right, here's this little cedar tree. I used a couple of these in my living room. These are from Hobby Lobby. This is one of the small ones. So it was $15.99 and half off. The basket I had, I don't remember where I got that because I've had it so long. These cute little tree brass candlesticks. I don't know that they're really brass, but anyway, I got them at Big Lots. Uh, the small one was $7.99, and at the, that day, they were half off. And then this one was $9.99. It's the taller one. And then for those, I found these really cute candles at Hobby Lobby, and they were $2.99. And with the yellow sticker, it does not go with the half off, but $2.99 for two taper candles that are a really cute design like this, I thought that was well worth the price. Of course, I bring it in my velvet ribbon. I have some greenery. Um, I have these cute little lights that I'm going to put on one of the little trees, which is right here. That's a Hobby Lobby tree. I've had it a couple of years, but they are still carrying these. But I don't know what the price are, but all of the Christmas is still half off. So that's where I'm going to put those little lights. And if you noticed, they're really cute because they're little stars. Well, if I can get it to focus. There you go. I think you can tell that's a star. Anyway, really, really cute. I have a garland over here. Right there. I got this from Michael's. And it was $19.99 and half off. I'm going to put that over on that shelf above my French doors. And then I bought this garland and it was on sale for, I believe, 40% off. And um, it opens up and all the little berries and it lights up. It's really, really pretty. And then this uh, was $9.99. These are both from Michaels also. I have these deer, brass deer that I thrifted a couple of years ago. And I'm gonna add them into my room along with this wicker basket. Some more gr cedar greenery stems right there. I have my lantern and my battery operated candle. And I have a little blanket that I'm gonna put on my um, ladder. And then the little books are gonna go in the room also. And then I have a cute sign that I'm gonna hang above the French doors also. It says, into all a good night, I made that out of a piece of wood. I made it several years ago, and uh, I just drug it back out this year. So I'm gonna use that. So anyway, I am going to go start carrying all this in, and we are gonna make my master bedroom a Christmas paradise. All right, I've got the little gar bead, lighted beaded garland. I got the greenery garland, and I got my little sign. I'm gonna put the sign and the greenery garland up first and then I'll put the lights in. I don't know if it's going to go all the way across because it's five feet long. These shelves may be longer than five feet, but we will see. I like this garland because it was really flimsy, but right now it's almost like too flimsy because it won't stay. Get up there, guy. There. All right, now let me hang my sign. All right, there's those. So now, I think it kind of needs to come over a little bit. There. Cute. All right, now let me open up this box of um, the beaded garland and let y'all see that. Oh 
sometimes little berries hang up on each other. Another thing I like about this is it's on a timer. So it just stays on for a little while. It doesn't wear your batteries down as quickly. All right, the timer side is that way. So there they are all lit up. So let me get them up above the door over there. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare a room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare a room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven. All right, y'all. I found this red book. I thought I would try that to bring in some red over here, along with the candle. I'm just gonna set this little tree in a basket here. And then I'm going to stand these tr tree candle holders up. And let's see how these candles look in there. Cute. Those turned out so cute. I'm loving my room. All right. I forgot something on the dresser, the cedar stems. So let me go grab those. And I'm going to run the vacuum over the floor. And then I'll give y'all an over.
out, y'all. There's my master bedroom, all decorated and lovely for the Christmas season 2023. Thank y'all so much for stopping by and watching this video. And don't forget that this is a collaboration with my dear sweet friend, Emily from Gridiron and Grace. Be sure to check her out. I will have her link in my description box. I will also, like I said, try to get the sheets listed. Um, if you have any questions about anything else, don't hesitate to comment in my comment section. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this content that you've seen today. I would love to have you as a new member of my family. Um, I just appreciate all y'all support so, so much. It just means so much to me. I just want to thank y'all. I want to wish y'all a very Merry Christmas, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!